Now just over two minutes. World champion defense. And not he two scores. Mitchell given away. Ben Smith. Barrett is chasing. He's got poke off for speed. This is Bowden Barrett. Control this. And the cup is his. It's New Zealand. And it's history. Confirmed. Back to back. World Cups. Who is it that's tracking back? It's Pocock, but even he can't will stop Bowden Barrett going over for what TV. is deserved the winning try and retaining Rugby World Cup. Alan Jones, the captain, gripped around the throat. That looks like a high tackle. Bigger, the kicking option for Hadley Parks to chase. And Hadley Parks wins the chase. Luke Pierce confirms to referee Roman Poet, you may award the try. Yeah, it's a fantastic start from Wales, isn't it? An excellent line and throw, and then after multi-phase of one out running and a penalty advantage, Dan Bigger just drops a little bit deeper. Hadley Parks holds his width and then gets up higher in the corner, controls the ball, there's no doubt at all. And dodged down a fantastic start for Wales. Sinkinson was in too. An outstanding number seven. Their interception though. Wales again playing into the hands of the Samoans and Pat Lamb goes all the way. More drama again in this game. As the skipper again puts Samoa back in charge. Every time Wales puts a concerted period of pressure on Samoa, they turn around and give the point straight back into and Samoa's lap here. Yeah. Certainly a lot of kicking going on from Hernandez. That's not a particularly good one, but uh, well taken. Brilliantly taken by sorry. France. Damien Try. Oh, two. dear. Now Argentina go. have got a chance to counter away. attack. He's away. Argentina are going to score the first try in this World Cup through Coletto. Ignacio Coletto scores for the Pumas. Well, how brilliant was that interception? Well, the Argentines, again, came from nothing. They created nothing in that phase of play. It was on, it was on for the French team. It was Remy Martin who threw the pass without looking. He really didn't turn his head, he didn't assess things well. And there we go, that's the speed of uh, Coletto, who's uh, an outstanding finisher. Yes, in fact, just to remind you, 10 minutes each way of extra time should the sides finish level. Opa Hengawi controls the ball at number eight, finally releases it. Boren, the pass, Little to Campesi, going for his hat-trick. Tackle short, Liner's in there, Liner scores. So the great champions that they are then, Australia bounce back immediately with a try by Michael Liner. Great disappointment for the local crowd, but the Australians, the Wallabies, showing great character. A broken man, Dan Bigger, not on for these final six minutes. And South Africa get the shove on, the penalty might come here, it's just being held Stand at the back out. there. Wheels have to be stout, Van Mullen picks up and goes, slips it away to Fully De Prea, and De Prea for the try! And South Africa's captain! Scrum half try. It was eight to nine to the try line, and South Africa are in front. The game's not over yet. Kirk's back in the play and through. Oh, it took a strong blow.
match from Shepard to Kerwin, and Kerwin fended off the attentions of the Bizier and Salah, and was over for a try. Still with Fiji. Here he comes again, out the back it goes. And in goes Kessler. He offloads himself and finds Arata. Rata desperate for help. Arata trying to get away from Fiji. The little man goes through. Santiago Arata in Uruguay. Well, what an amazing effort from one of the smallest men on the pitch. He scored against them last time, Arata, and he's done it again. And he had a lot of work to do. And Arata, a quick step. Wow, there's one, two. And Monneva came through with a big flying hand to try and pull him down, but couldn't manage it. The main core of them all still driving on. They're only five metres short. Back it comes. Lamaison chips over and through it. Dort is there for the try. Richard Dort scores again for France. Well, sensational. Dort, he can't believe it. And listen to this Twickenham crowd. They're loving it. It was great forward play, wonderful vision from La Maison. Oh, they're queuing up to score. Dorth got it down, good try. Forwards go again, Murray asked them to. Now he'll play at the scrum half. Extra man maybe, Cody didn't need them. They're fully alive, all right. Brilliant try from Cody. Some great carries again from the Irish pack pack there. Outstanding work from Ireland. Michelin once more. Listen to the crowd, he's going all around. What a great score by Sebastian Chabot. The second try of the game. And don't the crowd just love it. Well organised uh, defence there by England. Liner, little, and then Liner again, but it's picked up by England. Now he has a chance for England. Guscott, that's Kylie. Now he has the pace of Tony Underwood on the outside. Damien Smith will struggle to catch him. Damien Smith, will he get him? Damien Smith has missed him, and Tony Underwood will score. A great try to England. Try number four in Rugby World Cup 95 for Tony Underwood. Well, certainly the England fans delighted on that. Passed out to Tony Underwood, and Tony Underwood going, he couldn't be going faster than he tried. And everyone helping him on from the back saying, Go, go, go. Safe as houses. Yep. Slip up. The first real opportunity for the All Blacks, deep in the red zone, going to a full line-out option. Corey James moves across and behind, Nonu. And the throw is good, pops it up to Tony Woodcock. There's the first try of the final. What a move. Oh, Tony Woodcock absolutely loves scoring tries, as eight in his 83rd Test match, set-piece play. And Tony Woodcock's a big man, but he doesn't need that much space or that many opportunities. He sniffs a try at the best of times, and is there a better time to score one? Kearns throws one by Eels, Far Jones, Liner. Liner steps inside, swallowed by the All Blacks. Far Jones, Campisi, David Campisi, David Campisi all the way! Great try from the leading try scorer in world rugby, David Campisi, came across and simply skated through the all-black defence. Tanaka looks up. It's Himeno with that drive. Advantage Japan. Free play. Tanaka looks up. Lafaele, it's going to be the try for the new player. 
Kenki Fukuoka! Just on, just over! Japan take the lead! Well, there's no point at all in trying to talk over the noise, just soak it in. Kenki Fukuoka is just on the field and his goal is in that left hand channel. He replaces Michael Foley. John Eels comes up with it on the second attempt. Lovely inside pass. Gregan to Finnegan. Go for the line, man. And he gets there. For a moment, I thought he was not going to go for it. <laughs> Incredible. It all opened up for him. And he was still looking for support. I think he heard you, John. Oh, and he's got to go for the line. It's opening up for him. He doesn't want to know it. Oh, but he gets there in the end. Good try. Youngs down towards LaRue. Good tackle. A great tackle it was from Wilson. Um, Mapimpi. Mapimpi putting him behind for Um. Um. Look how you are. Back to back is only Mapimpi. Oh, my. That might just be the dazzling hands of Lacanio Um. Back to Makazoli Mapimpi. It might be his 14th try in 14 tests. For the first time ever, the Springboks score a try in a World Cup final. And the margin goes out to 11. And who else but Makazoli Mapimpi? Still good enough to win the line out. It's been very good, the Japanese line out. Upsets of all time is still on. Ayumu, Goromaru. Line out move, set move as well. Away from this contact situation, the little inside pass. Oh, perfectly timed handling. Eddie Jones, set move. Well, let's stay on that. That was Herkes just trying to create something which just wasn't on. Oh, yes. Clever. On the break. Big hand yeah. off. Well played. Here's the other number four, Alec Parker. Perkis wide. Ball. Superb to Nguenya. Nguenya against the ball. Here's a chance. Nguenya goes. Nguenya goes. What a try. The try of the World Cup, surely. The crowd go wild. Z Nguenya left Gran Havana for dead. I have never, ever seen that happen. Unbelievable finish. Unbelievable speed. The two quickest men, without a doubt, in world rugby. And who won it? Well, who would have picked that? Fantastic. Uncapped before this World Cup, but this is the kind of talent that USA can unearth. Watch this, brilliant from Clever, the hardest handoff, then the big number four, and watch as Herkus flings that what, pass. What a pass from Herkus now then, under race pressure. on. Chase me. I've left you, mate. I've left you. Looks like Carl Lewis, doesn't he? Oh, that is a great run by Carl Lewis. He's quick, too.